We're going to spend some time in this video talking about what Google Drive is and how to find your way around once you've opened it up. Google Drive is an online storage area for not only your Google Docs, slides, sheets, and forms, but for any other files you wish to save there. The storage space in your Google Drive is unlimited, which is awesome. In addition to that, you can access your Google Drive files from any device with an internet connection, including your phone. Think of Google Drive as a modern version of your staff H drive and one that you have access to from home. Let's take a look at the menu on the left side of the screen first. From top to bottom, you have the New button. Click on it and you can create a folder, upload a file or a folder of files from your computer, or create any of the various types of Google Docs to be stored in your drive. Then you have My Drive. That's the main section of your drive where all of the files that you own live. This is the top level of your Google Drive. Next, Shared With Me is where the files live that others have created and shared with you. If you're looking for something and cannot find it in My Drive, check here to see if it's a file someone else has created and shared with you. You can click Recent to see what you've been working on lately, and you may see Google Photos next. If you use the Google Photos Android or iPhone app, your photos will automatically be stored here as well. Starred is where any files that you've starred will live. If you have any specific files or folders that you use regularly, you might consider starring them, and there's more on this later. Above the main portion of your drive is a search bar. This is incredibly useful once you start creating and storing more and more files in your drive. You can click Search Drive to begin a standard search of all the files in your drive. Google will make suggestions in real time based on what you type. If you type a search term and press enter, Google will populate the main section of your drive with any files that match your search. If you'd like to search with a little bit more depth, click on the triangle on the right side of the search bar. Of note in this advanced search is the ability to search by file type, modification date, and the content of the files themselves in addition to the name of the file. I can tell you I have saved a ton of time using the search feature instead of clicking around until finding a file that was hidden in some dark corner of my drive. Let's move on to the right side of the screen now and the three drive settings icons. First is the view button. Click on it to toggle back and forth between list view and grid view. Next we have the details button. Click on the little eye to open a window with additional information about any files or folders that have been clicked on. Clicking on Details shows general information about any selected files or folders, including the file type, location, owner, and significant dates in the life of the file. Click on Activity to see some specific information about what's been going on in your drive and with your files. The Activity feed is great for getting to the bottom of any file disappearance issues that you may have in the future. Next up, we have the Settings menu. Let's take a look at just a couple of the settings you may end up messing with when you use Drive. The first is offline access, which might be a good thing to turn on if you're using a Chromebook in case you need to work without access to the internet. This makes the content of your drive available without an internet connection for the most part. I say for the most part because it only makes Google files available offline, not every file in your drive. For example, you wouldn't drop a movie into Drive and expect it to live on your device if you provide offline access. Click on Notifications and make sure they're turned on so you get an email when somebody shares a file with you or comments on some of your work. Alright, on to the middle section of Drive where your files are stored. Here they are. There's not much to tell you about this section. You can drag and drop files into folders here and organize everything however you like. Try right-clicking on a file. While most of the options in the right-click pop-up menu are self-explanatory, they're each worth briefly addressing. So the first one is click Preview to see the content of a file without fully opening it. Open With allows you to choose which app you'd like to use to open a specific file. Only apps that can actually open the file will be listed. The Share option lets you provide file access to collaborators. Click Get Shareable Link to toggle between allowing no one access to the file and allowing anyone in Denton ISD with the link to view it. Move allows you to move the file to a new location. If you'd like to have access to the file in your Starred Items menu, click Add Star and it'll show up here. Rename lets you change the name of the file. View Details shows you all of the activity associated with the file since its creation. Make a Copy makes a copy of the file and saves it to your drive. Download does exactly what it says it does. And Remove takes the file from where it is and places it in your trash. Finally, there's a good chance that you'll need some help with Drive after this video finishes. Luckily, Google has an on-demand help feature in the top right corner of the screen called Training for Google Apps. 
Click this icon for a menu of training topics specific to the app that you're in. In our case, we see a handful of videos that demonstrate how to use Drive. In addition to that, if you need any extra help, you can always contact your ITS or ITS Zone for a little bit more assistance. Thanks for watching.